Jake Paul versus Ben Askren. The fight nobody wanted to see is finally upon us. On the 17th of April, these two will duke it out in a professional boxing match. We all wanted to see a professional fighter finally shut Jake Paul's mouth. Somebody who would finally put an end to the saga. Fortunately, the requests were granted as Jake Paul is currently lined up to fight a former UFC fighter. Unfortunately, this man happens to be Ben Funky Askren, arguably the greatest striker that has ever graced the octagon. I mean, look at these hands. Look at that ferocity. Look at the... Why Ben Askren? Of all people, why him? He has literally zero striking experience. He looks like he should be throwing baseballs, not hands. <sighs> but despite this, people have actually been giving Ben a fair shot at beating Jake. Here's why we should let go of any and all hope. Before I get started, I would like to make it explicitly clear that I will be praying to every single god above for Ben Askren to miraculously punch Jake Paul into another dimension. With that being said, let's get started. The most common arguments I see being thrown around are Ben's experience in combat sports, Ben's experience in the spotlight and Jake's lack of experience in the spotlight, Ben's godly chin and Jake's bad competition. Let's take care of the weakest argument first, Ben's combat sports experience. Despite Ben's professional mixed martial arts record reading 19 and 2, this won't actually give him any advantages against Jake. His wins were earned through wrestling, wrestling only. And through my extensive research regarding the rule set of boxing, I don't think that's allowed. What does that leave? This. Ben has literally said in interviews that he doesn't train striking. I, I haven't been training striking or jiu-jitsu, but you know, that's like riding a bicycle, it's gonna come back to me really quickly. This was only two years ago, and it's not like he immediately started training boxing and boxing only for two years straight right after the interview. And even if he has, he hasn't. He just isn't going to outbox Jake Paul. No chance at all. Jake Paul has had three years of professional boxing training from credible people such as Sugar Shane Mosley. If my math serves me right, three years is greater than three months. Okay, well, he isn't going to outbox Jake Paul, but at least he can catch him with a lucky punch, right? Well... He's too slow and too stiff. Stiff as a board. Let's move on. Possibly the most popular argument for Ben Askren is his experience under tense situations. Having 21 professional fights, you would assume he has a pretty fair advantage over Jake in terms of keeping it cool under the spotlight. Unfortunately, Jake Paul has this too. He has had three boxing matches so far, one of which was in front of 20,000 people in Manchester Arena and one was on a fucking Mike Tyson undercard. I think it's safe to say he's had his fair share of time in the spotlight and begrudgingly, I do have to say, he looked pretty damn composed in all three fights. Ben has to have some kind of advantage over Jake, right? Anything? Well... Ben is surprisingly good at being punched in the face repeatedly before going unconscious. Great! He was slammed head first onto the canvas and ate multiple clean shots to the face against Robbie Lawler and miraculously came back and won the fight, albeit controversially. But he is as tough as they come. Of course, you wouldn't expect anything less though. I mean, look at that gigantic chiseled jawline. Golly. Thankfully, this means the likelihood of Ben going <coughs> is way lower. But this also means Ben is gonna take many, many punches before being put away. Perhaps this means he could pull a Homer Simpson and tire out Jake Paul by getting punched in the face. Or maybe more realistically, he's gonna get punched repeatedly until the ref waves it off. Oh dear. Jake Paul has been boxing tomato cans. That's indisputable. Digi was undersized and undertrained. Gib was undersized and had an itchy pinky, I suppose and Nate Robinson is an undersized, retired basketball player. None of these guys are particularly gifted in boxing. However, Jake still trained hard for all of those fights, and he now has the experience under his belt. Strip away all the labels you may put on Ben Askren, take away the professional MMA fighter and just look at his striking with no context on who he is. He really isn't much better than any of Jake's previous opponents. As sad as it is, Ben Askren is the next tomato cannon line for Jake to collect. Jake Paul and his management team handpicked Ben Askren as they knew he would be the easiest, high profile fight they could get. Now he's gonna unknowingly walk into a trap and both inflate Jake Paul's ego and embarrass the mixed martial arts community. 
You know, when the whole YouTube boxing fiasco was beginning and everybody was clowning it, saying it was bad for the sport, etc. I always thought the opposite. Bringing new eyes to combat sports is not at all a bad thing. But I think where the line needs to be drawn is when clout machines begin calling out professional fighters to get attention. This event is going to blur the line between professional actors and professional athletes. The general public, or casuals if you will, are going to say, well, Jake Paul beat an MMA fighter so he can beat Conor McGregor. Like, no. From here, Jake's just going to continue challenging fighters with bad striking, like Dylan Danis. Or he'll pray to Jesus Christ that Conor finally accepts his offer and gets the attention that he's been so desperate for. Either way, I don't really care, and I'm sorry for giving him any more attention. If you don't like Jake Paul, please follow this three-step program. 1. Press not interested every time you see his videos in your recommended feed. 2. Don't repost, like, or comment on anything he does on social media. And 3. Don't engage in any arguments with stupid people. It's just not worth their time. And subscribe. To me, not Jake Paul. Oh god, don't do that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Lay MMA, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Unless your name is Jake Paul. <laughs>